Hey guys, um, today I'm going to be demoing, or taking a bath actually, but I'm going to be using eggplant bath bomb, I got two, and I'm also going to be doing the piercings and tattoos, um, vid, you know, just basically explaining them, and yeah, they're super cute, tonight's super cute, I'm chilling in this tub, like, oh my god, I hope you're having a good night too. But yeah, enjoy the video. <laughs> it tickles. By the way, I hope this isn't too risque for people. I'm very comfortable with my body and who I am, and this is not um, <laughs> sexual in any way. Like, I'm just taking a bath, getting my judge, getting soft skin. Ooh, this shit smells so good. Oh my god. Um, so yeah, I just, you know, bathing has been something that I've loved to do, and it's just really good for relaxing. It's good for your blood, you know, blood circulation. Different essential oils have different properties, too. So it's good for your skin, good for your hair. I just think it's good all around. So get into bathing, and even if it's, like, not, you know, a, like, top-tier... Because you can use bath bombs for sure, Avi, look at this water, it's cute. But you can also just take baths with, like, infusions. Like, you can put in some, like, like, I've put in full-on, like, sage leaves before, and, like, teas, and flowers, and just different oils. Like, you can really do whatever, but it's just a fun t you, you time, essentially. But yeah. Oh, and so here is a stick and poke tattoo that I did. It is an eyelash with three teardrops. Three's a pretty magical number for me, so I've done it multiple times. And then now I'm zooming in on this T, which I'm tattooing myself, you know, practicing because I would like to be a tattoo artist in the future. But that's a T. That's an R that's in progress. I honestly have been slacking it. But it's going to say art, and it's going to be really dope. Um, this was my first stick and poke tattoo done by my old homegirl, Donna. Um, I have a green thumb and love to plant. I love plants. I was president of the garden club, so that is, re like, re symbolic. This is my six dots, so I have a Virgo Mars, so I love lists. I love organizing. Like, that's just my tea, so... That's always cute. Now we're panning over to the eye. This is from um, Picasso's Guernica. Basically, disaster. It makes me conscious of like making sure I don't fall apart. Um, over here is Kiss It Better, which is a stick and poke I did. Underneath it is a cute little heart, and I love sharp hearts. Like I'm panning out. You see that heart? Okay, cute.
Right, so this is my sternum. It's my bumblebee tattoo done by Ryan Neri. Um, I love it. It's just a big bee. I love her. I'm going to get flowers later, but I like it because when I breathe, you can see it's like a little butt thorax moving. So I live. And then I'm going over to, I have three little thorns. I think I'm going over to them now on my side. Yep, with a little blood drop. I have two younger siblings and an older sibling, so that's that. Um, I have barbells on both nipples that are 12 gauge. Um, I want to get rings soon, so I'm excited for that. Um, this is my septum ring. It is 14 gauge, and then I got my nostril at 16. Then I have hoops given to me by my boyfriend. I have two piercings in each ear that are still in the lobe, and then... I think I'm going over to it right now. Oh, I'm showing off my nose. Great. Um, oh, okay, we're going into my ear. So there's my nostril. I don't think you can see that. Okay, so basically I have the same hoop on each side, and then I have that same red stud in my side. I got that from a beauty supply shop. Love them. Um, and then, yeah, I got a conch, which is in, like, your inner earlobe. I think I'm pointing at my nostril. Oh, I'm pointing where I want to get them. So I want to get my left, right nostril done with a hoop. I want a bunch of gold hoops, essentially. So that's me. Um, we're going over to my cicada tattoo, which was a tattoo done when I lived back in Southern California in the desert. Um, and then I got it colored up here by Ryan, actually. That was my first tattoo with him. He just colored this in. But, yeah, it just, you know, immortality. That's me. These are three hearts that I got. Also, because my siblings, because I do love the number three, y'all. You know. And my siblings love. Um, Autumn Leaf. I do love Autumn. And I got that for Halloween. And then my Venus Flytrap. This was also done by Ryan Neri. So, he's pretty dope. You know, I just love prickly plants and carnivorous ones as well we're going over to my thigh this is going to be my also ryan area. i think this was ryan's like biggest work but it's essentially um a giant snake i love snakes i think they're gorgeous and i just have really thick thighs and i wanted to really utilize <laughs> that so i love wearing shorts with this snake like i love showing off the snake whenever you know y'all know cannot wait but yeah, and you know, I'm going to be getting tattoos throughout this year. I'm excited. Um, you know, I'm just taking a bath, chilling, and yeah. Oh, oh, I forgot this one on my back. This one was actually my first tattoo. It was a garage tattoo, um, and it's the crown chakra. So, you know, I feel like my...